Hey again. So uh, I decided to make uh, a joint task force figure. Now I know that I'm I, I'm not I'm not exactly sure whether like nowadays like right now I have a joint task force video, but you know I didn't really have any of that camo, and you know this is uh this is Cad Pat camo. It's actually Cad Pat, and uh, you know the, the the Royal Marines will wear it. The Royal Marines Commandos will wear it, and so will the Joint Task Force. The Joint Task Force wear this as well. No, I don't know exactly what they wear. I couldn't like get it down to the, the finest detail on exactly what they're what they're wearing out here to the gear, you know. But it's what I got anyway. I put uh, knee pads on them, just like I saw. Um, the boots are boots are not material, but they're you know the nice plastic boots. They're pretty pretty much the nicest plastic boots I have. And um, he's got uh, an MP7, which I'm going to pretend is a C7. Um, he's got um, he's got a, a crimson camel balaclava to signify the Red Canadian, um, you know, thing. And he's got this he's got this uh, this vest on this this uh, he's got this huge vest on. So you know, hopefully. You don't really, you know, hopefully you can tell that it's like a GTF figure. Did my best to do, uh, to do that. Uh, I like the way it looks. But, um, you know, it would always be better if I had the more accurate gear. But, um, that's what I got for now. It's going to be one of the last uh, Special Forces figures reviews I do for a while because I'm getting a new Knight in the Mail soon. Actually, I'm buying another Special Forces figure too. So there probably will be another, some more after that. Um, but uh, out of my figures, this one, this one right here, this guy's one of my favorites. This guy's just brutal. This guy's one of my favorites. This guy. Took some stuff off that guy. Um, but that's how they look for now. Uh, if you enjoy them, cheers.